Hi, and welcome to the Abe Digital Publishing version 2.0 Quick Tour. This new version contains all the new features you've been asking for. In this quick presentation, we'll take a look at some of the new features in the Project Manager panel. In version 2.0, we've done a complete overhaul to the Project Manager panel. From the second you open this panel, you'll notice that you now have the ability to log into your Abe Digital Publishing Portal account. This lets you connect your project to your titles and issues for better organization. You can now select your title, then select your issue, and then drag your project into that issue. You'll also notice that after the installation, the AVE Digital Publishing folder now installs to your application folder. Since our folder structure no longer installs into a hidden file system, you can save your project files into any directory you want. When you attempt to add a new article, you will now be prompted to save it and name it. Because you can now save to any directory, you can also name documents with your own in-house naming conventions. Files no longer will be named by the system, but by you. This means that your project files can now be stored on a server to allow for multiple user collaboration. The new Synchronize Project folder lets a user point to a folder and import those documents into their own newly created project. You can also add pages to articles right inside the Project Manager panel without opening the Pages panel. You can now publish your projects to many different formats using the AVE Digital Publishing System. You can publish content in a format suitable for apps on iPhone, iPad, iPad Retina, and also in the EPUB 3 format. Underneath every article within your project, you now see whether or not your article has been rendered for AVE, iPad, AVE Retina, iPad 3, or for EPUB. The rendering time has now been greatly enhanced in this new release. In version 2.0, we have sped up the rendering time and offer new preferences to make this even faster. Let's take a look at some of the new preferences that people have been asking for. Enable Publish Optimization is a preference that looks for duplicate images used within your issue. When images are used more than once, only one file is uploaded to your final save, and all the instances of that image point to the one saved image. This can greatly reduce your final file size. The purpose of the new Enable Image Processing Optimization setting is to accelerate the generation time of your save. This means that as you are generating your save, the images that are already the right size will not be processed in Photoshop. These files will be copied directly into the Zave. There is also a new preference, Enable Bonjour for Device Detection. If you turn off Enable Bonjour for Device Detection, when you create a preview or send to my kiosk, you won't see a list of detected devices. Instead, you will just type in the IP address of your iPad manually. This preference was added because at bigger publishing houses, there could be 50 to 100 different devices to discover, and it wastes time trying to just find your device. As you've seen, there is a lot of new features inside our brand new version 2 release of our AVE publishing plugins for InDesign. Keep checking in as more videos that describe each one of these new features in detail will soon be posted. Thanks.